Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connection video where we're exploring the essential oil of Japanese peppermint. Now, when it comes to understanding the different mint essential oils, it can be a little bit tricky because they have different names in different countries around the world. So Japanese peppermint actually grows all the way through Canada, America and parts of Mexico, as well as in Eastern Asia, from Siberia all the way down to Java. So in these different countries, it's known as Canadian mint, American mint, corn mint, Chinese mint, and Japanese peppermint as well. So how do we know exactly which plant we're talking about? And are we talking about the same plant and the same essential oil? Well, this is where we go back to the Latin name. And this Japanese peppermint, the Latin name is Mentha canadensis. So this is a really interesting variety of mint because it's one of the only few that has actually thrives in tropical environments. It often grows near water, so streams or marshes or lakes and that type of thing as well. And when we steam distill this essential oil, we get a really nice, clean, minty, fresh aroma. Um, I even find compared to peppermint, it's even fresher than this. It's still higher in that menthol and that menthone, which gives it that minty aroma and that, that, that cooling effect. And you'll find that it's actually used around the world in a lot of flavorings of different foods and candies and so on. In this video, we're gonna dive in and we're gonna explore Japanese peppermint and how you can work with it to benefit your body, your mind, and your spirit. Japanese peppermint has lots of benefits for many different systems of the body. One of my favorites is using it to help with the respiratory system. So if you're feeling a bit congested or a bit short of breath or just not breathing properly and really want to start filling your lungs again with that reoxygenating, beautiful air, then try diffusing or getting a little bit of this uh, Japanese peppermint and rubbing it on the chest with a bit of a carrier oil as well. Another thing is to drop it on the hand and take a nice deep breath in and this can be really positive and helpful. Now, peppermints are also renowned, and Japanese peppermint is no exception, for helping with the digestive system. So, if you have a Japanese peppermint which you can actually ingest, uh, you know, adding it to a drink or to a beverage, or a drink and a beverage is the same thing, Adam, <laughs> or a dessert or a food, or anything like that, or, again, with that carry oil and massaging it on the stomach in a clockwise direction can be really great. It's really quite cooling and soothing, and so if you're feeling quite hot in the midst of summer, um, or if there's a bit of a fever, then again, carry oil and pop that there. Even for headaches over the temples can be really, really nice as well. And peppermint can be really nice for, and soothing for the muscles as well. So mixing it in with the massage medium and massaging it in can be really great. The other thing I love is, have you ever used a shampoo or conditioner with a mint in it? And I love how it makes your head kind of tingle. So, although a lot of people like to use Japanese peppermint for skincare and it can be quite refreshing for the skin, I love to add a drop or two to a natural shampoo or conditioner and really feel that tingling, cooling um, effect and really enjoy the aroma of it as well. So whether you want some help with your respiratory system, your digestive system, you need to cool down a little bit, you're a little bit achy, or you're worried about your skincare and your hair care, Japanese peppermint can be used to benefit the body. When we breathe in an essential oil, it can actually have an impact on our body in a really potent and powerful way. Now what happens is we take a little bit of that maybe Japanese peppermint in our hand and we breathe it in and that's detected by a, something within our nose called the olfactory bulb. This then sends a message to a part of the brain, it's a primal part of the brain called the limbic system. Now the limbic system basically is associated with our fight or flight, very primal memories, that's why you smell something and go, oh that reminds me of that type of thing. And then from there, it signals to the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland which starts to make changes around the body. Now there are different essential oils that can have a really uplifting effect and sometimes a couple of main families get a little bit confused. First of all is the citrus family. Our orange, our lemon, our tangerine, our lime, our grapefruit and so on. These have an uplifting effect but for the mind. So when you're feeling a bit flat or a bit miserable uh, then these can be really great. However, the mint family, especially the ones that are high in menthol, such as peppermint and Japanese peppermint, help to stimulate the mind. They wake you up. So the citruses lift the mood and the mints lift your attention. 
and Japanese peppermint is no exception to that because it does have that high menthol uh, content which is really nice for uplifting and telling the body to wake on up. So do you ever find that you around the, you know, maybe first thing in the morning or mid-afternoon you're kind of hitting that slump? Try adding a drop of pep uh, Japanese peppermint into your hand. Don't get too close to your eyes because it'll make it sting a little bit. And breathe that in. You'll find that it really helps to wake you up. I find also that it can help with things like sugar cravings. And so when you're looking for caffeine or something sweet to pick you up in the afternoon as well, this can be a really natural and healthy alternative. It's also a really great one. It has a really kind of, not only just a cooling impact on the body, but also a cooling impact on the mind and really good in stressful situations. I've also found that Japanese peppermint has this beautiful ability to help soothe fiery emotions. So if you're maybe feeling a little bit angry or frustrated or and all pent up and a lot of fiery energy within you and you just need to simmer that down a little bit, try again, adding a drop and breathing it in. Or if someone else is having a bit of a freak out, if they're open to it, again, pop a drop in their hands and encourage them to try that. If you find yourself in a fiery, awkward or uncomfortable situation, maybe where there's a bit of tension, you want to help to soothe and settle that a little bit, try adding a bit of Japanese peppermint to the diffuser and diffusing it around the space. Hopefully that will help people to cool down, settle down and pay attention to what's most important in getting things done and working collaboratively. On this YouTube series, we've explored a few different mint essential oils now, and they each on the spiritual realm have a slightly different role to play. Yes, they all help to bring our attention to something, but they're all different. So peppermint, which I like to nickname day mint, is really good for helping us to have clarity in our life and clarity in which way we're going. Then we have spearmint, which is a bit more subtle and has a bit less menthol in it. And this is really good, I call this night mint. It doesn't stimulate us as much, and it helps us to be aware of more subtle energies and even energies from other realms around us. We then have bergamot mint. Now bergamot mint works really well with the heart chakra, and it's really good about understanding our own value and having awareness of value and how we deal with value, specifically with money. Where did Japanese peppermint come in? Well. If I had to give this a name, I'd call it Paradigm Mint. What does that mean? Well, we only know what we know until we know something new. And what Japanese peppermint is really great for is helping to open your mind to new paradigms, new ways of thinking, new approaches, new possibilities, and just new ways of doing things. Sometimes, especially as we get older, we can get stuck in ruts or we may not be able to see you know, a clear pathway out of a problem. And this is where Japanese peppermint is really great. Whether you pop in the diffuser or take a deep inhalation, or what I'd really recommend is, you know, ha dropping some in your hands and going into meditation or contemplation can be really, really helpful. I saw this really helpful um, clip on um, social media a few days ago, and it was about a gentleman saying, if you want to make a million dollars this year, what you need to do is you need to start getting the brain thinking beyond what it's used to thinking. And he said, challenge yourself to write 20 different ways that you could make a million dollars and then it gets the brain thinking about all these different possibilities and stepping outside the realms that you're already in. So if you're finding stuck, if you're finding yourself bored, if life's getting a bit stagnant, then this is going to be a really amazing essential oil to help you open up your horizons. The fact that I'm uh, filming this just before or just after New Year's Eve and we're in the, you know, it's the 2nd of January, so it is this time of new beginnings and what will become, Japanese peppermint is a really great essential oil to use in that way. Another great thing about Japanese peppermint is it's absolutely amazing for helping to put our worries into perspective. You know, I want you to think about what were you worrying about five years ago on the 2nd of January? Can you remember? Probably not, you know, but isn't it amazing when we're having a disagreement with someone or when we can't, can't find enough money to pay a bill or something like that, how it becomes, you know, bigger than Ben-Hur and it really kind of, we get caught up in that. This is a really nice one for helping us to settle back down and put our worries in perspective. And then by working with it a little bit more, it's gonna help you to find a creative solution beyond what you can see in this very moment. This is also a really nice oil for just creating a bit more peace because of its cooling aspect. If you need a bit more peace in your life or peace in your environment, working with this will help and patience as well. You know, we often just want things to happen immediately. We want that instant gratification and Japanese peppermint chills you out and says, hey, good things are coming but enjoy the good things that are in front of you now. Have gratitude for them, relish them, and the more gratitude you have for the moment, 
the more joy, the more abundance and the more pleasure and the more love that you receive in the future as well. Although a lot of people love to use the mint oils for the throat chakra, I think this may just be a familiarity with the minty taste from consuming some foods and candies and drinks and so on, as well as maybe toothpaste. But as soon as I smell many of the mints, being peppermint, being spearmint and Japanese peppermint, I actually find that I feel it really in the third eye chakra. Remember the third eye chakra, although we often associate just with our intuition, it's about our intuition and about our intellect. It's about using our senses to understand the physical world and work out how it works. What's really exciting about Japanese peppermint is because it allows us to see beyond our current possibilities and to find new paradigms and ways of doing things, this can be a real asset for the third eye chakra. So when you're feeling stuck, even try a little bit on the third eye chakra. Again, the menthol getting too close to the eyes will make you a little bit teary. So just be a little bit careful, maybe dilute a little bit. But this can be a really great way for helping you look beyond your current understanding and find new possibilities, new ways of doing things that are better than what you're doing right now. There's something really clean and refreshing about just the aroma of Japanese peppermint by itself. But you can make some beautiful blends that are also going to be really beneficial. Now we've talked about different systems of the body. So for respiratory blends, it's going to be absolutely amazing and smells really good with oils such as the eucalyptus family, rosemary and lemon. For the digestive system, oils such as cardamom, fennel and star anise are gonna help with any digestive issues. And oils such as wintergreen will be really nice to combine and the chamomile when making up maybe a massage blend for yourself. On that emotional aspect and cooling things down, the, again, the eucalyptus is blended with Japanese peppermint can be really nice for helping us to breathe, relax, and let go of anger. And again, cardamom is a really great oil for helping to move anger into passion. You know, if you think about anger and passion, they're very similar, both very fiery. Anger doesn't have an outlet, passion does. And cardamom helps to create that flow. And so popping that in any anger blend can be really quite helpful. When we're looking on that kind of really powerful um, uh, spiritual level and maybe working with our chakras, try mixing a little bit of Japanese peppermint with some spearmint. Maybe with some lime and some vetiver could really help you get to the heart of a problem and understand what's truly happening and um, you know, find some solutions for yourself, especially if you're feeling a bit just unsettled and you're not too sure why. Other third eye chakra essential oils would be really great with Japanese peppermint. Again, peppermint or spearmint could be popped in there, but you've also got things like fennel and star anise, juniper berry, sandalwood's are really nice for the third eye chakra, blue tansy, yarrow, any of these would be really potent in helping you to open up your mind and to have a bit more clarity in how the world works and the best way forward in whatever you're doing in life right now. The other oils that can work really well with the mints are often any of the citrus family or any of the herbs. So we're looking at rosemaries and basils and different things like that. Remember the herbs are really good for helping to focus the mind and then we know the citrus is really good for helping to uplift the mind and the emotions as well. So if you're looking to focus or cheer up, then maybe some herbs or some citruses with your Japanese peppermint could be a really good combination as well. Rudolf Steiner said, for every ailment or disease that humanity faces, there's a plant somewhere in the world that can help to cure that. I truly believe that plants are gifted to us to help us to thrive and be the caretakers of this planet. But we also have other things on this earth that we can combine with the plant kingdom to help enhance our experience. As you may know by now, I love working with crystals and I love to pair a different crystal with each different essential oil. When it comes to uh, Japanese peppermint, the crystal that I love is called blue aragonite. Now the interesting thing about blue aragonite in its formation, it normally requires a lot of water and or it's near water as well. And this really assimilates with Japanese peppermint, which is at home near waterways and is very much thriving in tropical um, environments or climates where, of course, there's a lot of humidity there as well. What I love about blue aragonite is it has a really calming, peaceful energy and it really helps us to go with more flow and more grace in our life. And so this can be a really nice kind of harmonious energy to carry around a crystal like this or wear a crystal, a blue aragonite, when you're working and focusing on your Japanese peppermint. Now, I also like to bring in different animals. And the animal that kind of pops into my mind when I'm thinking about Japanese peppermint is the koi. 
the koi fish or the koi carp, of course, is quite associated with Japan, which is one of the places where we find Japanese peppermint. And of course, living in the water, we've got that waterway again. And they also have that kind of mystical and deeper kind of understanding. There seems to be a wisdom about the koi carp. And so meditating on that or even watching them swim around with the Japanese peppermint can be really quite a potent um, experience. Astrologically, all mints are associated with Pluto. Why? Well, this is a bit of a Greek story. Pluto, also known as Hades, had an affair, uh, cheated on his wife Persephone with a nymph called Mentha. And Persephone found out, got jealous and turned Mentha into the mint plant. So all mints are closely associated with Pluto. Now Pluto, of course, is in the far depths of our solar system and thus resonates with the powers that we have far within us. What I love about Japanese peppermint is it helps us to reach into the deep recesses of our creativity, our intuition, our subconscious, whatever that may be, to find new solutions, to step into new paradigms and new ways of being. And so that Pluto energy resonates really beautifully with Japanese peppermint. Now, Pluto doesn't rule a day of the week, but it is closely associated with Tuesday and Mars. So Tuesday can be a really great day for finding that inner power to find new solutions by working with the Japanese peppermint. So that's the kind of the power day. Now, I'd love to hear about your experience with Japanese peppermint. How have you used it? Has it helped you for the body, maybe in the mind, or you found a really great spiritual use? Please leave a comment in the section below and we can all learn from each other. Remember when it comes to essential oils as well, that not all essential oils are the same. First of all, you need to make sure you check the Latin name so that we're both talking about the same oil. Because as I said before, this plant can be called many different things in different parts of the country, or could be confused with a different peppermint or spearmint, or there are so many different mints. There are pineapple mint and chopped mint and water mint and all these different ones. So we want to make sure that we're working with that. The other thing is, unfortunately, a lot of essential oils are adulterated and the extra things are put in them to stretch out the batch, or they're just not from a plant at all and they're made in a laboratory. So you wanna make sure you are getting something gifted to us purely from the plant kingdom. If you need help sourcing pure essential oils with really great ethics and give back to the communities and the farmers that actually grow these plants, then I can help you out with that. Just reach out, my contact details are below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley, blessed be.